Ladies and gentlemen, as you may or may not have heard, Worldwide Celebration is going to be Namek Saga themed. But in this video, alright, specifically, I'm going to be showing you what I want to see when it comes to the Dual Dokkan Fest for Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, and of course, Frieza, I think it's very likely those two will be the, you know, actual Dokkan Fest units. But before I hop into my ideas, I want you guys to let me know what you would want to see from a Super Saiyan Goku. What would you want to see from a from a Frieza? Um, how would you want those units to work mechanic-wise? All of that good stuff. Keep in mind that I always, every time new units are revealed like this, I like to hop into the wiki, change a few things around, and build my own units. Um, so if you guys do enjoy that, you know, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Let's hop straight into it. So... It being Namek Saga, I think it's really cool that Planet Namek Saga, the category itself, will be getting buffed, which is it's not really a great, you know, category here, right? Um, so let's just hop into my first ID here, and uh, we're going to have full power. I, I, he's not even on full power, but it's basically Super Saiyan Namek Goku, right? This is going to be the idea that I have for the first part of the super class version of the, uh, the you know, Dual Dokkan Fest here. I do have a banner unit to, to cover. I also have the Frieza and another banner unit to cover. So uh, let's just hop straight into this. Uh, Planet Namek Saga or powerful comeback category key 3 and 170% to all stats. Um, I gave him this because, I mean, powerful comeback, I, I just think it really fits Namek Goku. Um, and of course, Planet Namek Saga is, you know, the theme of the celebration. So it makes sense that he'd give this category 3 key and 170% to all stats. For his 12 key, I gave him the ability to stack attack, cause colossal damage to enemy, and greatly lower attack. I think lowering attack, especially in the god event, is definitely going to help you survive because those gods definitely hit very, very hard. And for his 18 key, I did give him the ability to greatly raise defense for one turn, cause col mega colossal damage to enemy, and massively lower attack. So I think his super attack effects are definitely really good. You guys can let me know what you think. But his passive skill now, and just, just to, you know, forewarn you i did make these units broken i'd say like i like i do think the freeze that i made the gohan that i made i i guess i just leaked the, the banner unit but yeah i made a gohan banner unit um all these units that i made here i think um i made them very very powerful in their own right and it only makes sense it's the, this is the worldwide celebration with namek saga super saiyan goku right i don't think they're gonna be holding back whatsoever when it comes to this goku but anyways I gave him attack and defense plus 159% at the start of turn. That's very, very good, obviously. All allies, including this unit, P plus 1, up to 3 at the start of each turn. So not only does he build key for himself, but he builds key for all allies. In my opinion, that is a broken ability. Um, I, wanted, I wanted him uh, to give something to allies because he, does, he doesn't only fight for himself on Namek. But, you know... Um, I didn't want it. I didn't want it to be anything too crazy, but I think giving key is very, very, very strong. Next, we have three key attack plus 59% and reduces damage received by 59% when facing an extreme class enemy. Um, that's again, if you're so if you're if you're fighting Frieza, that's 159% attack and defense, an extra 59% attack and 59% damage reduction and three key. Like this, this Goku's not taking damage. Plus, remember he he is going to stack attack. Uh, lower defense no matter which no matter no, sorry uh, lower attack no matter which attack you get and of course really raising his defense on 18 key uh, and then key plus three and defense plus 59% when HP is 59% or below and that is not a once only gimmick if you end up falling let's say you get unlucky turn one um, and get hit very very hard and then this Goku enters the next rotation he's going to be an immediate slot one unit because again not only will he potentially have 59% damage reduction if you're facing an extreme class enemy uh, with 159% defense but he'll activate this three key and 59% defense um, that's going to allow you to survive the rotation, right? And this guy, what does he do on Namek? He survives, so he's a go. Um, nullifies enemies' key blast super attack. Guaranteed. Nullifies enemies' key blast super attack and gains a great chance to perform a critical hit for three turns upon activation. So if you get him the ability, right? If, he, if you get the nullification off with this guy for the next three turns, okay? So the one he's on there and then... Uh, the one the, the the when he comes back he's going to have a great chance to crit the reason why i made it three turns is because what happens when this goku gets super attacked after he attacks right then then the, the chance to crit means nothing 
so in case that happens i made sure that even when he comes back on rotation he's still gonna have his great chance to crit i think this goku is very very powerful probably the best would you can would you consider him the best lr in the game let me know i think his viability in difficult content giving an extra 59 percent defense i think is just huge especially when hp is 59 percent or below which is not hard to see it's really not hard to see but you coop this with this defense with this damage reduction with the greatly raising defense lowering attack like i think this guy is literal monster let me know what you guys think when it comes to his banner unit i did make a gohan now in terms of typing really quick i mean I, this guy doesn't have to be tech i just use this goku because you know i don't like you know, I, I don't have the card art for the new goku obviously but uh this guy could be int for me this guy can be agl maybe not agl anything besides agl and str I'm, I'm perfectly fine with by the way um then we have this new uh gohan that i made quote unquote right uh, obviously i'm using this art because it, it is from planet Namek saga but again it could be this guy could be tech whatever typing you want let me know uh, but let's move into his card so planet Namek saga category key plus three and 130 percent to all stats is his leader skill for his super attack he stacks attack and defense causes immense damage to enemy with a medium chance to crit so obviously additionals is going to be the way to go um if you do two additionals you're gonna have i mean the first attack is gonna have what a 30 percent chance to crit and then the second attack you're gonna have a 60 percent chance to crit so this guy could be putting in work all right um he gets attack and defense plus 100 at the start of turn so offensively defensively he's gonna be fine um attack and defense plus 58 percent within the same turn after receiving an attack so he works similar to the physical beers as long as he takes one a hit one hit uh he's going he's going to be raising his attack and defense by a considerable amount by the way more than half of what he's already at key plus three and high chance to perform an additional super attack when facing an extreme class enemy so again if you're facing frieza right and you perform additional super attack while you're stacking with the chance to crit i think you're this guy is gonna be this guy is going to be very 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 powerful again remember he is building up so his stats don't look the greatest here but he's going to be building up okay so just keep that in mind like lit legitimately stacking and again extreme class enemy doesn't have to be freeze or anything like that just extreme class enemy and additional super attack will definitely kick in um planet namek saga super class category allies three key and 40 percent to attack and defense i made it super class specifically um, because why would Gohan buff freeze? It doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, so yeah, Planet Namek Saga, super class category, allies, three key, and 40% to attack and defense. So you run this guy with this Goku, giving this Goku 40% to attack and defense. Are you kidding me? Why would this guy even need that, right? But there it is. So let me know what you guys think about my the first part of the Dual Dokkan Fest. Let's move into the second part of my Dual Dokkan Fest idea here. And we have uh, Frieza. Now, again, this is the AGL SSR Frieza of of this guy down here um but again it could be str it could be physical it could be whatever okay um so wicked bloodline category key plus four and 170 percent to all stats this gives uh wicked bloodline another actual lead because ago cooler even though he leads it he's not really that great of a unit anymore um so wicked bloodline getting this buff i think would be really beneficial for that category and then terrifying conquerors category key plus four 150 percent to all stats i think terrifying conquerors definitely needs it uh, 12 key so he stacks defense cause colossal damage to enemy with a medium chance to stun 18 key he greatly raises attack for one turn so basically this is like the opposite of goku goku stacks attack and raises defense for one turn freezer just does the opposite cause mega colossal damage to enemy with a great chance to stun so he stuns on both 12 and 18 key he has it he has the ability to stun on both 12 and 18 key while stacking defense okay and greatly raising attack for one turn this Frieza, I, I, dude, this Frieza actually has an OP ability. Let, let, let's just hop into it. So he gets three key, attack and defense 150%, and all allies guard against all attacks before attacking at the start of turn. So what this means, okay, is when you have this Frieza, okay, so, <laughs> think, hear me out, hear me out. When you have this Frieza on rotation, before anything goes down, every single unit on the turn on the turn on that rotation has guard. It's just guarding, right? So if you have two freezes, right? If you have this guy as your leader and the another freeze as your as your friend, and you have them on both and you have different rotations, everyone's just constantly guarding before you get attacked. Where this is going to be extremely powerful is when you're fighting Moscow in the Legend of Goku event. Because that guy, if he if he turn one super attacks you, right? He's going to super attack everyone. But turn one. When he does super attack everyone 
everyone is going to be guarding. So um, I think the ability to not only let him guard in, in slot one, but let everyone else have that guard ability. Um, so no, it doesn't matter who you put in slot one. I think that's just an, a very, very, very OP ability for this Frieza to have. And I think it, just, it it literally just shoots up his value like insanely high in my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think about that. Uh, key plus one up to three and attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% per super class enemy present so basically in sbr i mean if you're fighting five super class enemies he's gonna have an additional three key so six key in total and 200 percent to attack and defense while he's stacking and greatly raising attack here okay with of course his chance of stun reduces damage received by 30 percent and attacks effective against all types when facing a pure saiyans or hybrid saiyans category enemy so as long which again is a great is a Okay, Legendary Goku Vent, GT Legendary Goku Vent. You hop in there, uh, this guy's going to have 160% attack and defense. It's 50, but 10% attack and defense because there's one super class enemy. Um, so one key. So he's going to have four key, 160% attack and defense, 30% damage reduction, and effective against all types while stacking his own defense. Does that sound good to you? I think it sounds very, very good to you. But obviously, we're not done. Uh, key plus three and performs a guaranteed critical hit when facing an enemy whose name includes Goku. This is not OP because Super Vegeta performs a crit no matter what. Okay, so uh, this guy in the Legendary Goku events is going to have seven key, 160% attack and defense, guaranteed crit, 30% damage reduction, effective against all types. He's going to be destroying is what this guy is going to be doing. Okay, uh, I think this Frieza is very, very powerful. You guys can let me know what you think. And when it comes to his banner unit, uh, the unit who I really want to see uh, get love is the Doria, okay? Now, this is the Doria that I made. Obviously, he doesn't legitimately exist. None of these units exist, by the way, in case I have to say that. Um, now, his, I would love for his typing to be tech. Uh, more, more tech buffs, in my opinion, would be really, really cool. So, this guy leads Space Traveling Warriors Category 3 key and 130% to all stats. Greatly raises defense for three turns. Causes immense damage to enemy with a great chance to stun. So... He's going to be greatly stacking his defense for three turns, which again is very, very powerful. But let's take a look at his kit really quick. So, key plus three and defense plus 70%. Attack plus 140% when performing a super attack. So, that's pretty good. Um, attack plus 40% and guards all attacks when there's an ally on the team who includes Frieza. Take a look at his categories. Planet Dynamic Saga, there's a Frieza there. Transformation Boost, there's a Frieza there. Dragon Ball Seeker. Dragon Ball Seeker, sorry, there's a Frieza there. Terrifying Conquerors has a Frieza. Final Trump card, I don't think Final Trump card actually has a Frieza. Does Final Trump card have a Frieza? Um, I would actually be, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked, but... Oh, yeah, the click, yeah, full power Frieza right there. Boom, boom, there you go. And then Space Traveling Warriors. All, there's a Frieza in all these categories, so you're going to be good to go, okay? Plus an additional attack plus 40% and reduces damage received by 40% when there's an ally on the same turn whose name includes Frieza. So you rock this guy next to this guy, and what's happening is this guy will get actually 220% attack and defense, because 140 plus 40 is 80, and plus another 40 is 220, right? So 220% attack, 70% uh, defense, uh, let's see, 40% damage reduction, guarding, while greatly raising defense for three turns. And of course, transformation boost, extreme class category allies, three key and 40% to attack and defense, which he guts himself, right? He gets that defense and, and buff himself, but he also gives that to Frieza here, who does not need it, right? So there you guys go. Um, I think these new batch of units would be absolutely insane. Um, I would love to see something like this, but even if it's nothing like this, I, 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 I need this Goku and I need this Frieza to be the best units in the game period and i need the support units of gohan or or, or zarbon or whoever did i say did i say i think did I, I said zarbon right i think i might say someone else by accident like the doria or something i don't know uh but whether it's zarbon whether it's the doria whether it's zarbon and the doria or whether it's just someone else i need these units to actually be really 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 good this is the worldwide celebration there's no time to disappoint i'll be uploading more videos talking about what i want to see from the celebration in terms of other easy a's right especially ginyu force i think ginyu force getting an easy a is very very possible so i will be covering that in another video but let me know what you guys think are you excited um let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys peace